what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's good to see you guys again so i'm back with another whoa i'm back with another small update last video we put that up right there that rgb thing that you can see over there blinking um, the video before that we installed the exit sign and the blue lights and stuff. We're still working on it I finished that shelving and now I'm working on this one over here So we'll start to take everything off that wall back there and redo the wall, but a couple of things came today That are going to help me with this In the other video Set that over there. See all the stuff. It's a lot of stuff. But anyway, this is a CD stand, right? Holds DVD CDs. But you notice how it's in three pieces, right? It's sectional. So if I wanted to, instead of stacking these on top of each other, I could stack them next to each other. Why do I want this? Because I want it to hold all of my computer fans. It is adjustable. You see the little holes right there? That tells you that you can take this and adjust it, make the shelf shorter, taller, whatever you want so that way I can accommodate 120 200 millimeters even all the way down to maybe like a 40 millimeter fan or something but the, the point is is that I'll be able to hold all of my fans in one place uh one of those one of those filled with computer fans it's ridiculous guys I am not joking then check this out look what else that came today this there we go is my new power supply i've always wanted a digital power supply that i could put on the bench and so be it mom bought it for me for christmas so i want to open it for you guys all right I keep all of my boxes and stuff for all of my items. Oh my God, this thing is extremely light. Whoa. Wow, extremely light. All right, let's take that off. Take that off. Sorry, I'm trying to keep steady. Is there anything else in there? A power cord. Oh, a power cord and some banana plugs that terminate to some alligator clips. That's cool. Good to have. Banana plugs terminate to alligator clips. Good to know. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Anybody wanna come over and uh, help me with this mess? Hmm? I'll build you a computer if you wanna come over and help me. Oh yeah, everybody be over here then, wouldn't you? Ooh, this thing is real nice. Check that out. Uh, I mean, it, it was just, it's a lot of stuff that I accumulated over the years. So it just plugs in through the back. It has little feet. It's very well ventilated, which is, that's good. It needs to be. And let's see here. Current, volt, input, power. I guess that's where you put your plugs at. There's the on off button. All right, cool. Let's plug it in real quick. All right, I got it plugged in here. Or do I hold it? Oh, wait a minute. This is the power button. Yeah, there it is. Whoa, a little shaky. There it is. Looks good. I guess the top is the volts, the 32, the bottom is the amps, and then I don't know what the W stands for. I'm honestly kind of new to, to electricity. I don't really know too terribly much about them. Output, I don't know what that is, that little red button. I'll have to read the manual and understand it a little bit better, but it looks great. I'm really happy on how small it is and lightweight. It's going to look good. Yeah, it's going to look real good. All right, so I got the first shelf thing built. And I'm going to start putting fans on it. See how this works. One of the things that I want to do later on, since I have so many fans, 
is I want to go through all of them and make sure they work. Test them. Make sure all the lights come on. Uh, you know, make sure that they're not like unbalanced. Just make sure that I'm not holding on to a fan for no reason kind of thing. Now, a good question. Let's see here. How's this going? Okay, so like that. Anyway, see how well it holds the fans? What a great idea, ain't it? And then you can just keep going. Now, the only thing is, is that the wires are going to hang in front like this. Or you can tuck them up and manage each one, which is what I plan on doing. See, I have, uh, I don't know, I think it's 31 or no i'm sorry 21 i have 21 of these thermal take fans in these little cases like this see that's why i keep my boxes um but they'll need to go in a slightly larger to make room but then again you know it'll just kind of it'll look like this see see how well it it looks good right it's going to be nice so i'll have these Maybe on the wall or maybe sitting on the bench because if you can see, look how big this table is going to be. The also reason why it's going to be so big and so large underneath here is because we're going to put computer cases in, on underneath the shelves. Kind of like how all this stuff's underneath here, but the computer cases are going to go there. But anyway, yeah, great idea. Love it. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate y'all. You guys be cool, and I will give y'all another update as soon as possible.